It's Tech Tuesday, and I need some writers. I've only got a limited amount of material. I'm Liam Spore. Number five, Google begins a out of the goodness of our servers attempt at stopping Street View complaints. With more and more area mapped and more and more people unwittingly exposed to the eyes of millions, Google has decided to black out Street View shots that receive complaints. Google made it clear that this isn't a legal requirement, but simply Google showing some heart. Goodbye, creepy rifle guy. We will miss you. Number four, Best Buy is cheating you out of your money. I know, who doesn't already realize that? But this is a special case. The price match guarantee that allows Best Buy consumer the chance to get any product at a competitor's price has apparently been less of a guarantee and more of luck. Recent lawsuits have exposed corporate policy that encourages employees to refuse price match if the price is more than 5% lower. A store with rip-off prices has a price match policy backfire. Let me attempt to hide my shock. Okay, done. Number three, Microsoft Internet Explorer is the most secure browser out there. What was that? It was hacked within 24 hours? Oh, that's embarrassing. A hacker named Nils broke through Internet Explorer's eight numerous security features at CanSec West in Vancouver. Not good news for Microsoft, who is currently involved in the browser war with Google, Apple, and Mozilla, as they are now stating that security issues will be attended to. Those are the security issues that apparently did not exist on Thursday. Number two, Apple debuts the third generation iPod jump drive. Oh, I mean shuffle. The new shuffle can hold up to 1,000 songs and is about the size of a thumb drive. That feat must have outweighed placing controls of any type on the device, moving the volume, play, and skip buttons all up on the headphones. This means you need to stick with the packaged in earbuds. The design looks great. Oh no, where'd it go? Ah, oh, not again. And number one, an almost world exclusive of Bioshock 2. Game Informer beat me again. Bioshock 2 puts players in the shoes of the first Big Daddy, dropping them in 10 years after Jack first discovered Rapture. This time, Little Sisters are possible allies and Splicers are almost no threat. However, a new enemy, Big Sister, is sure to make up for it. Battle through Rapture once again with new plasmids, weapons, and locations. Multiplayer is a feature in Bioshock 2, however, a friendly, very trustable, and comic sidekick is not. That's all for this week, and yes, I do have a name, first and last. They are Not Tech Tuesday. That is the name of this segment. I am Liam Spore. I apologize for any confusion. I know how simple words sometimes confuse a few of my viewers.